So section one of the women's 1500, we've got Pam K. Heights, Melanie Vlasic, Caroline Baudinet, Millie Howard, Claire Lamb, Sophia Mills, Stephanie Parsons, Sammy George, Katie Fortner, Hannah Steelman, Brittany Stanley, Natoya Gould, Hannah Ryden, Sierra Pontier, Caroline Sang, Maddie Hunter, Keaton Case, and Jasmine Fair. So our early leader, Natoya Gould, multiple time NCAA champion when she was running for Clemson, now running professionally. She's an 800 meter runner by trade, stepping up for the 1500. Looking very strong early on as she comes into the quarter split. Hard to tell from this angle, but if I were to guess, about 67 seconds or so as she pulls away from the rest of the field. And Ghoul competed at the 2018 World Indoor Championships not too long ago. She ran the 800 for Jamaica. The end of January, Ghoul ran 159.86 indoors for 800, which almost beat her outdoor personal best. So, so very, very impressive fitness at this point in the season for Ghoul. Her PR in the 1500 is 418. And so it looks like she's trying to put together an impressive outdoor opener. And she has no challengers at this point. Looking very strong heading into the 800 meter split. And if you heard that, her 800 meter split, 214. So 214 solid 800 split. Let's see if she can maintain. Here she comes. Entering the home stretch now. Toya Ghoul, Bell Lap, here she comes. One more lap to go for Natoya Ghoul. She's a world indoor silver medalist over four by four. Three time NCAA champion. This is her outdoor season debut. Moving up in distance. Let's see how fast she can go over 1500. She got a 418 personal best in the 1500. Coming off of an amazing indoor season where she ran 159 indoors. Let's see what she can put together in the 1500. Here she comes, your winner in section one of the women's 1500, Natoya Ghoul will take the win in 419.58. So extremely close to her career best in the 1500 and she ran the entire race solo. So very promising fitness for Natoya Ghoul. And behind Ghoul, 